What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today by special request, I'm gonna show you how to get information off of this. This is an iPhone 5C, just kidding. Um, this is the only phone I have because I'm recording with my phone. Um, but how to get information from your phone or files onto your PS Vita. Uh, like I said, many of you have requested this, so hopefully I can quickly explain it and go over it with you. There's a file transfer system called FTP and you can download it onto your phone and then essentially your phone will connect to Wi-Fi, your PS Vita is connected to Wi-Fi and you're gonna set up a connection between the two of them. Let's get into it. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is to download an FTP client on your phone or tablet. For today's video, I'm using an iPhone 11 and downloading an application called FTP Manager from the App Store. Next, we'll open up VitaShell to gather all the important host information as well as initiate our FTP signal from our PS Vita. You're going to press the Start button to pull up the VitaShell main settings. From there, you're going to go down to the Select button line and change it from USB to FTP. Then, when you press the Select button, it will initiate your FTP signal it will also display your server's host and port identifiers in the form of 15 digits. You can also see that your connection is up from the little arrow icon that appears in the top right of the screen here. You want to keep your Vita up and running on this screen so that you can copy over and type in your host and port identifying numbers into your FTP client app on your phone or tablet. Next you'll open up the app and hit the plus icon in the top right corner to establish a new connection. You'll select the type of connection, which is FTP, and from here it will have you enter in the display or new connection name. I'm just calling mine RGG Vita for real good gaming Vita. Under the host section, you'll type the first 11 numbers with periods accordingly from that 15 digit identifier number that we left displaying on our PS Vita in the last step. Here I have the host portion boxed in yellow and the port portion boxed in red. Now under connections, you'll see the new connection that we just created displaying. And when you tap on it, you should see all your PS Vita's partitions if you did everything correctly. Next, just as an example, I'm going to download a VPK file to show you how to actually transfer files because it's still a little tricky. This file is a VPK for the Game Boy Advanced emulator that you can get on the PS Vita. Now, after this file downloads, I'm going to find it under my downloads folder where I can select it and move it by tapping the drop down arrow at the top of the screen. Once you tap move, you should see the FTP manager app as an option. Under that option, you'll see the shared welcome folder by default where we can move downloaded content in order to start transferring files over to our PS Vita. I'll tap copy to send it over to the app and then we will open back up the FTP manager app in order to finish this process. Once you're back in the app, you can tap the On My iPhone folder and then the default welcome folder where you should see the file that we just moved there. Tap the three dots and from there select the option to move or copy the file over to your PS Vita's partitions. Select the established connection, here being the RGG Vita connection, and then the partition that you'd like to place your files. Here I'm just putting the target file on the UXO partition. And then simply tap save to finish the final step and we'll head back over to the Vita a final time to check to see if our FTP file transfer was successful. And there you have it. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please comment down below with any comments, questions, or concerns that you may have. Leave a like and subscribe for more content. 